MSI recently added the Z170 Gaming Pro Carbon to their Z170 lineup, and it's pretty awesome. Stick around to find out more about it. Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up-to-date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. Since Z170 first launched, I've been taking a look at quite a few different motherboards, and while I have taken a look at quite a few, this one still definitely stands out. The main feature here is obviously in its name, it's the carbon fibre that's on the uh, sort of VRM heatsinks and the chipset heatsink, and makes it look pretty awesome. Now this is definitely a mid to high end board and that's where it's priced, and you'll get all the features you'd expect, like 32GB per second M.2, which by the way I'm going to be testing with a Samsung 950 Pro SSD, it's going to be awesome. You also get reinforced PCI slots, 4 DDR4 DIMMs and a socket 1151, well socket. It's also powered by an 8-pin EPS uh, CPU power connector as well as obviously the 24-pin on the side. Now everything is squished in a little bit so you may have a bit of trouble with CPU uh, kind of clearance or heatsink clearance um, so do bear that in mind. Now you do get uh, RGB LEDs on the right hand side of the board and I'll take a look at that those a little bit later but um, it does have SATA Express and four more SATA ports as well as two USB 3 front panel headers. I must say though that the SATA ports will get deactivated or some of them will if you use the M.2 slot. Now the rear I.O. is four USB 2 ports, DVI, HDMI, a PS2 combo port, USB 3.1 and Type-C Gigabit Ethernet, USB 3.0 are two ports of those and 7.1 audio with SPDF all powered by the Audio Boost 3 section which by the way has red LEDs for the split PCB not RGB which seems a little strange considering the other side of the board has RGB. Now, as I was saying, um, I am going to be testing this with a Samsung 950 Pro. I also tested it with a i5 6600K and I think it was uh, 16 gigs of uh, HyperX uh, Savage RAM. Now, as I was saying about the heatsink clearance, because there is quite a large space for the LEDs on the right hand side, the RAM slots are a little bit closer to the CPU socket than normal, and the CPU socket is actually a little bit closer to the back than normal as well. So, that is something to make note of if you are planning on installing a closed loop water cooler like this uh, Cooler Master Neptune 120XL. Had to move the RAM sticks over uh, as you just couldn't get anything in in the uh, first dim slot there. Other than that, um, this is my thoughts, opinions, and all that jazz. So I quite like the uh, Z170 Carbon. Um, it's a very nice kind of styled board. Uh, the price point is quite interesting, and, and what you get for the features, obviously, the RGB lighting is a little bit of a gimmick, um, especially because they didn't do it on the uh, kind of split audio PCB, which doesn't make sense to me. ASUS did this as well. They put RGB lights on the heatsink, on, on the chips heatsink, but they forgot to do it on the rest of the motherboard that is lit up. So one side of it will be red and the other side can be rainbows or whatever else you choose. Um, so that is something that I would recommend as an improvement. RGB on the entire board if you're going to do RGB. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a very stylish board. It's definitely a bit of a showcase piece. It's got all the functionality you'd expect, obviously the M.2 connector. I've actually been testing out with a Samsung 950 Pro. So if you want to check out that review, that will be coming out very soon as well. But basically, it's a very nice motherboard with good features, good functionality, and a decent price point as well. So um, and that's kind of the, the pros and cons of it. Uh, scoring is going to be a four for five money. Five for performance because most motherboards are the same nowadays. Um, it's obviously got a, a nice uh, BIOS and if you want to check out the MSI BIOS, check out any of the Z170 motherboard reviews because it's all, all the same on all of the motherboards that I've checked out. Awesome, very well laid out. I love the, the kind of heart, board explorer to show you kind of where bits are um, and what's connected. And uh, yeah, it's just a really nice BIOS. Um, in terms of the general sort of functionality of it, I'm gonna have to give it a five because even though the, the RGB uh, LEDs are a little bit gimmicky, um, they still appeal to the kid in me, so, uh, so yeah. Um, in terms of style, it has to be a five because it looks good, although, I would say it's kind of like 4.75 because they need RGB LEDs on the split audio PCB. Otherwise, uh, otherwise it gets a five. Um, and yeah, Texan UV score has to be a five as well. Um, it's going to get the gold award because it is a great motherboard. Um, there's literally nothing wrong with it. Um, there's pretty much everything you can expect, and it looks pretty cool too, especially with the carbon on the heatsink. So. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it really. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe for more tech videos, like and dislike depending on what you thought. And uh, also, quick note, these videos are on Vessel now. 
Um, you won't know that they're on Vessel if you're on YouTube because all the videos, uh, I generally work a week in advance anyway, so the, you won't notice any difference. Uh, the videos that I'm doing will still be coming out at the same time regardless of if I was doing them on Vessel. It just so happens I am doing them on Vessel. So if you are a Vessel subscriber, check them out. If you're watching this on Vessel, hello, feel free to leave a comment. Um, but if you're watching it on YouTube, then uh, feel free to leave a comment and down below and tell me you know, how much you hate me for uh, putting videos on Vessel or something. I've already had a few of those. So um, yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you all in the next video.